is a coalition gonna form with this i literally don't care what if hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the a to z challenge the challenge where we play every nation in u4 in 1444 that is unique enough of course in alphabetical order and this week we're back with the nation of baluchistan i've never played them just like many nations in this uh challenge baluchistan is located right here in the khorasan region in the persia super region and it's bordered by a big and scary timurid neighbor which of course doesn't blow up very often in 1.32 so we're definitely gonna have to deal with a full strength timurids here but we also have other expansion opportunities in multan and Sindh, and they sometimes get strong allies so we're pretty limited here baluchas then over here we oh no we start off with a 111 Oh, as if this wasn't hard enough already. Baluchistan national ideas, fort maintenance, looting speed, land force limit, and uh, their national ideas, except for the manpower stuff, they kinda suck. So this is definitely gonna be a very, very difficult challenge. But what's the goal for this challenge? Well, I saw a lot of suggestions on YouTube and over in the Discord to form the Mughals as Baluchistan. So why not form the moogles baby let's jump right in and before we begin if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z videos like this or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything let's jump in as baluchistan all right all right here we are as baluchistan now i thought we were gonna have to fight the timurids to form the moogles i kind of forgot you don't have to do that you just need stuff over here so a little secondary goal completely wipe out the timurids no single timurid province can exist that's the second Primary goal. primary goal forming the Mughals and of course to do that we need to own the province of Delhi right here and one of Lahore Doab or Central Doab so one of these three provinces right here along with Delhi all right let's see if we have anyone friendly towards us uh oh my god <laughs> it's already so painful I am gonna try to ally um Jaunpur here they're pretty strong and uh I got a little tip not to rival any of these guys because they'll just ally each other so I won't do that just yet but in the meantime I can do some estate stuff all right estate stuff done I also called a scholar in I got the sh uh plus 10 percent shock damage guy where is he I, I can't I can't see him well I got that scholar in anyway and we have a free merchant wonderful collecting in Hormuz collecting in Lahore all of this collecting let's collect in Gujarat as well I guess do we have any missions of course not paradise please please update this region man either way let's start uh spying on Sindh here and uh oh we only got two diplomats right so I guess we're spying on Sindh and improving with Jaanpur can we hire any advisors of course not we're broke all right excellent I did manage to link up with Jaanpur and Makra apparently so why not Shah Rukh did die and I really haven't been paying attention to what's going on with the Timurids in 132 but let's see how in fact they will win the independence war versus their subjects or maybe the subjects won't even declare let's see Shah Rukh did die. Maybe we'll take advantage of this. Okay, so the Timurids declared their reconquest versus Ajam. I guess, you know, they learned a few things from the players. And uh, I guess this is how the subjects don't become rebellious. All right, first wartime, boys. I got a claim over here on Multan. Their ally Malwa will join in, apparently, even though they wouldn't like three minutes ago. But I literally don't care about Malwa, dude. I literally don't care about Malwa. We're gonna turn Baluchas down here into a super power. Uh, let's also get a. Well, I guess a fort defense guy why not and let me activate that uh defensive edict right here boom all right let's continue on towards multan all right malwa has like 14 subjects <laughs> No, at least they're losing three wars. Maybe they'll accept being pieced out soon. Ah, wonderful. Janpur uh, has taken Delhi. And of course, as soon as Delhi disappears, they'll form Delhi. Uh, it's gonna be painful to fight them, to say the least. I'd rather deal with the Timurids. No, not really. Excellent. So while I was dealing with Mal over there trying to piece them out, these guys, Jai Salmer, they declared on Multan too. And now they've occupied the rest of them because Malwa managed to unsiege it. This is painful, boys. This is very painful. I can't even vassalize them to drag them into a defensive war. <laughs> I guess I'll stay in this war and see what happens, man. Uh, what else can I say? Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Oh my god. We're off to a terrible start here, boys. The only thing I can do is vassalize. Even they won't even accept that, dude. They made them pop out Punjab. Maybe we could vassalize them, sure. But we don't even bother them, man. Come on. Uh, 
Oh, looks like the Timurid vassals did declare independence. Not all of them, though. Okay, finally, Multan will accept being vassalized. Sure, we'll take an OPM Multan, but here's the thing, though. This may have worked out to our advantage after all, because now we can declare a reconquest on Punjab and get them as a subject too, and they have a lot of cores over in Sirhind, so actually, you know, it's not that bad. What is bad, though, is Jai Salmer here being allied to Delhi, which was formed by John Poor. So I'm gonna have to call in Janpur slash Delhi into a fake war so we can then fight these guys. Either way, you know, it's not too bad. I'd rather have Multan for myself because I was gonna spawn the Renaissance here. It's farmlands and a center of trade and it produces cloth, dude. Super cheap to dev, man. Oh well, I guess let's declare on Punjab right here, huh? Bro, wait a minute. <laughs> this can be the fake war. <laughs> Let's call in Delhi. There we go. All right, now I can declare on these guys too. All right, there we go. Uh, real fake war going along nicely. Let's declare on these boys as well. Uh, we'll do our reconquest on them as well for, I don't know, Dara Jot right here. Nice. Actually, things are working out really nicely. A blessing in disguise. Thank you, Jai Salmer. <laughs> wonderful, man, wonderful. These guys are already out. Let me transfer occupation of all of these provinces over to Multan, and I am gonna give these back to Multan. I'm gonna take this for myself. Perfect. Nice. We've dealt with that super, super easily, boys. Let's uh, court the only province that we took, and we've also defeated Punjab, which we will also vassalize. So let's piece them out. Baluchistani vassal, take all their money. Perfect. Sure, these guys are angry right now, but that is no big deal, boys. We're just gonna give the Amirs uh, strong duchies, I guess. Yeah, and now they're still disloyal, but I'll get them loyal soon enough. When we declare on Sirhind here, ah, Bengal will defend them. I guess we'll see what our next step is. Bruh. I, we don't have feudalism as Baluchistan, dude. I don't believe this. I, I had no idea about this, man. I had no idea. And it's not even present in any provinces, dude. Very weird. I, I swear I didn't know about this. All right, send here. They seem to be sucking at life. So, uh, yeah, let's buff up ourselves instead of just buffing our vassals. They're allied to Mewat. That's this nation right here. Can we co-belligerent them? Yes, we can very easily. Let's declare for Thada. Boom, boom. Let's put these guys, send these guys here. Vassals, go hurt these guys. Oh, and by the way, since you guys seem to have enjoyed the serious-ish campaign we did with Bachmanis last week, I'm gonna keep this episode a little more serious as well. Actually trying to accomplish our goal and actually trying to keep our country alive. Dude, we're even a tribal nation, man. <laughs> what the? What is this? Tribal monarchy? Income from vassals? That's not that bad, actually. CCR minus 10? Well, eh, we'll see. Stateless society? Should I do? it <laughs> no feudal tribe we're not even a monarchy man baluchistan is actually a hard country to play as i just found out you guys know big timmy this is big timmy right here even though they lost um transoxiana khorasan and afghanistan they're still super strong i'll make these guys over here my vassal too why not there we go boom three subjects of course all of them are gonna be angry now why do i do this to myself either way i'm gonna buff myself up as well by full annexing sind right here wonderful ladies and gentlemen wonderful oh no now i'm stuck here aren't i <laughs> all right I finally got the Amirs more loyal than influential, so I'm actually gonna take away uh, aristocratic counselors so I can give them the Amirs integration policy. Nice, we got a little triple Baluchistan Gujarat Delhi alliance going over here. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Well, 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 luck be my lady tonight, or whatever they say. Neither Bengal nor Malwa will defend Sir Hind right here. Ah, so many juicy cores to reconquer. Yes, baby, let's declare for Lahore. Boom. All right. Finally, man. Finally. You know, actually, these tribes, their reforms are kind of good. <laughs> uh, I would have liked to start out with tribal despotism, but let's go with the tribal version of strength and noble privileges. That's even better for 5 more percent. Let's take martial society. Ah, I'm gonna call in Delhi. I'm too weak. Well, Delhi's fighting men war and they aren't doing anything to help out. So, yeah, nice, uh, nice idea there. Hawk, nice idea. Actually, thank you, Delhi. Uh, they did help out quite a lot and they haven't even occupied anything which is excellent for me all right now uh let's uh make these guys uh return cores to my boys over here i wonder if we can take everything from them uh to Multan as well uh all right that's all the cores back now can i take the rest of the stuff maybe this maybe something like that yeah i guess that's as much as we can take huh yep you know sounds about right Excellent. Now, uh, is Punjab stronger than me? Actually, they like me the most. 
which is excellent. All right, well, we can start annexing Punjab. I think we got all their cores back, uh, except this one right here, which is not really a big deal. I can start annexing them. I would start annexing Multan first, but uh, they're not loyal. <laughs> All right, well, we can finally abdicate with this 111 guy, dude. Jesus. Ah, feels good. 523, much better. Now, what should we take for our first idea group over here? Obviously, it's gotta be a mill one. I'm thinking offensive, quality, quantity. I don't know. We're not gonna be dealing with ships that much, and we're all right on manpower, so. Let's go with uh, offensive. All right, it seems that Sir Hin here has linked up with the Timur. It's kind of cringe, bro, but whatever. Let's declare on Marwar right here. Let's full annex these tiny guys. Here's another awesome opportunity for us. We're gonna be declaring on Kangra right here. Co-belligerenting Kumaon, which is this nation right here. Awesome. I love it, man. I really do. Perfect. Two more boys down. Let's full annex all of them. Yes, we are growing, boys. We are growing. This is our border glory situation right now, but our realm. Well, it's much larger. Yes, I will expand Baluchistan. Thank you very much. Yes, I will core two of these provinces, apparently. Thank you very much. And we're almost done annexing Punjab. Come on, bro. Bankruptcy looming in 1476? Are you kidding me? Of course, this won't happen, boys. Let's just see as soon as I let a month go by. Oh, it's still there. And now it's even soon. It's actually next month. No, I don't want to go bankrupt. I don't want to go bankrupt. What's my max loans? Currently have 23. What? 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 Okay, now we should be good, right? We're making money, but no. No, this is not how the game works. It'll make me go bankrupt next month either way. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, actually exploit development, man. I need to do it a couple of times. Okay, now I don't think we're gonna go bankrupt anymore. Whew. Okay, we're good now. We're good, boys. Let's, uh, annex Multan as well. Ah, well, uh, Delhi rivaled me. Wonderful. Help. Help. Okay, Bahmanis, Bengal. Dude, none of these guys are strong enough, man. Let's link up with Bengal at least. Wonderful, I'm getting bombarded by rebels right now. They just took the fort in Lahore and I've just gotten a comet. Can things get any better? Of course they can. When all of these guys pop out as well. Oh, comet. No, actually no. I haven't picked the economy fools in a while. And we've annexed Multan as well. All right, now things should start looking up. Can we state anything that we haven't for free? Not really, but at least now we can uh, spawn the Renaissance in the province of Multan. Let's encourage development. There we go. Only uh, 46 to damn it, but that's still pretty cheap. If we bump this up to level 2, it actually will get even more cheap. But unfortunately, I don't have the money for that, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, let's uh, let's spam a little bit of dev here. There we go. Nice. All right. I uh, save up so many points and i still need to dev it once more of course now why am i going bankrupt again dude what what is up with this what oh. i love nobles spawning on a mothball fort i really do at least they should be able to ally bahmanis now ah of course not because i'm allied to their rival gujarat well let's uh let's rival gujarat too <laughs> bahmanis is much more powerful than gujarat ladies and gentlemen this alliance will definitely be worthwhile all right now i got the well strongest nation in india basically allied to me bengal isn't that bad either all right boys i think this is it man it's time to declare on delhi i've uh, allied bahmanis and bengal they're both willing to help out i've also allied uzbek but they wouldn't come either way let's declare for pani pot right there or whatever it's called and uh, i'll try and bum rush gujarat here to get them out and after that we should be strong enough to take them on we're pretty evenly matched except one of my boys has cannons uh i'm guessing that's uh let's see here bengal actually has cannons so maybe they'll help out with that but yeah it's time for the biggest war man well maybe not the biggest because we're gonna have to fight the timurid later <laughs> but definitely the most important one if we win this we can form the Mughals. let's just hope uh me and bahmanis can take care of gujarat while delhi focuses on bengal all right, so I'm gonna tell uh, Bahmanis to go focus on that and on that, oops, and on that as well, and they should go for it. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and bum rush their capital. Let's see. All right, excellent. We kicked out Gujarat right away. Uh, too bad they're just eating through my forts, but I think uh, now it should be much easier. Now the only target is Delhi. So let's go to Delhi, boys. Tier 3 got reform time. These kind of suck, both of them. Religious society, I don't need it. I already got the Dimi thing, which doesn't give me penalties. Stab cost, I literally don't care. I want the more expensive stability boost. The more expensive it is, the better, ladies and gentlemen. I guess I'll just take lip service, even though I never take it. We are actually stack well. 
wiping these fools, ladies and gentlemen. It's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you, Bengal. Thank you, Bahmanis. My boys, I love you so much. I won't destroy you at all. This campaign, I promise, no wars with my blue boys over here. Thank you so much. And just like that, boys and girls, we've 100%ed Delhi. Thanks to my allies, of course. I couldn't have done this without them. But let's take the most important thing, which is the province of Delhi itself. Is a coalition gonna form with this? I literally don't care. What if I take Central Doab? I still literally don't care. It is a nice province. It's got the Taj Mahal. It's 24 dev, silk. Am I too greedy with this though? Yes. So that's why I won't take it. And still take war reps and all their money. Boom. There we go, man. And uh, as soon as we core these up, we should be able to form the Mughals. Now, how did Nagaur become my vassal here? Did they just offer it to me when I destroyed them and I just accepted it without seeing them? Either way, apparently, I got another vassal now, which is excellent. And there we go, dear viewers. I've cored up Delhi and everything in this state. I did have to make it a state to form the Mughals. Weird requirement, but whatever. And let's form the Mughal Empire. Boom. Yes, please. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, one of the most powerful nations in the game. We are an Indian Sultanate, plus three tolerance of heathens, and one of the strongest governments in the game, if not the strongest, the Mughal D1, plus one tolerance of the true faith plus 150 gov cap but never mind that we can assimilate cultures into our administration when we assimilate hindustani culture group minus 10 ccr yeah baby and we just got a bunch of claims over here in northern india and we just got an amazing mission tree to conquer everything around us and since we are uh i forgot this government form whatever it's called ccr tax farming lenient taxation uh i love it i'm gonna take this though because i'm poor <laughs> but yeah man we're the Mughals now. First goal, done. We formed the Mughals. A lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I thought we would struggle quite a lot with uh, Baluchistan over here. But with that, it's time to continue on towards our second goal, because the video would be too short if I stopped it now, which is to completely wipe out the Timurids. And like I predicted at the start, they are super, super powerful. And it's going to be super, super hard fighting them. We are going to have to expand a bit more in India first before shifting our attention over to them. You know, boys, the conquest gotta continue. Let's fight this uh, little one province miner over here. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, we can't fight the big boys just yet. Hey, and the war is done. Let's annex these guys. And I think I am gonna vassalize uh, Mewar right here. Very nice, very nice. Because they have a bunch of course we can reconquer. Excellent. Oh, cry more, dude. Literally cry more. Oh, I just wanted to clear on the Timurids right away, man. But they're so powerful, dude. They got some, well, I was gonna say powerful allies. That's just not true. But there is a lot of them that's the problem a lot of them and we're a bit low on manpower to be honest maybe i should have opened up with quantity or maybe not when i take a look at these nice generals but yeah man conquests they have to continue here let's fight sind or something like that <laughs> they don't have any allies so yeah it's time to full annex sind yes i'm not really supposed to expand here but <laughs> whatever let's fight these boys right here get some of uh mewar's cores back yeah let's go with admin Excellent, war is done. All of these are my war scores, so uh, yeah, nice. Increasing our vassal size as well. Uh, let's go with the Mansa Badari system for tier 3. Well, my truce with Delhi is up. I would declare, except I don't have any manpower. Whatever, dude. Manpower, no manpower. Let's declare before they get any more clever ideas. I'm gonna declare for a central door right here. Call in all the boys. Yes, our conquests of Delhi are continuing. I need to take out this entire culture group to get CCR, right? Yeah. Well, my ruler just died without a kid, and uh, I got this 430 Kiliji guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Civil war and internal conflicts. Listen, boys, we haven't had them in a while. Well, yeah, dude, Delhi is pretty much done, man. Uh, what were the provinces I'm supposed to focus on? Right, right. Oh my god, this is so expensive. Well, actually, let's see, let's see. Hmm, are only 139? I love that CCR. Uh, let's take Central Doab, because I did declare for it maybe something like this let's see 88 a 64 over extension you know what i'll take this nice let's try and not get civil war and internal conflicts huh ah uh, the struggle is real boys the struggle is real we should have opened up with quantity man we should have opened up with quantity look at this Look at this. Well, you know, at least the Timurids are getting more powerful, and at least they can't form the Mughals. I'm the Mughals. It's me. Ah, civil war. <laughs> oh, 
All because this dude over here, he's never seen a sword in his life. Wonderful. Thank you, Padisha Shah Jahan the First Kiliji. You know, when you get civil wars and stuff like that, just let these events sit for a couple of months, you know, so you don't get them that rapidly. It's gonna pick this automatically either way. Why not pick it later instead of now? Meanwhile, I'm trying to farm some legitimacy. All right, finally. Psh Manpower, once again, it's gone. And I'm about to get a ton more rebels too, dude. And you guys always ask why I open up with quantity, man. This is why, dude. This is why. I was like, hey, let's change it up. Never again. Never again. We don't even have strength and noble privileges, boys. We don't even have strength and noble privileges, man. D1 is pretty good, man. <laughs> what can I say? We can't even swap out of it, so yeah. Uh, I, I feel like this game, it's, it's playing games with me, man. You know what, let's just declare on Hadoti right here or whatever, call in the boys and yeah, let's uh, get some more of Mewar scores back. I'm not gonna even join this war, dude. Alright, there we go. This is a little feels good moment after all that struggling. I'm still not gonna do anything. Trying to get Manpower back up so we can fight the red boys over here. What's this? Convert to Seek? Nah, no thanks. Let's score them up. It's so cheap. Ah, minus 55% CCR. Of course, this is kind of late to have minus 55. You could have it way earlier starting off as the Timurids, for example, and then forming the Mughals. Let's declare on these boys right here. Can I co-belligerent these guys? Well, whatever. I, I, I don't even care, dude. I don't even care at this point. You can't even trust your own vassals to siege down a level 3 fort, man. I gotta help them out with everything, I can't believe this. And this is done too, perfect. Uh, truce with Delhi is up in a couple of months, so yeah, we'll be finishing them off soon. Well, at least finishing off the provinces we need right here, to get even more CCR. Alright, the truce with Delhi is up, let's hit him again. And Delhi has been defeated, let's take all the provinces we need to uh, assimilate a certain culture group. There we go, now we just need this one right here, Kalinjar, to get uh, all of this. Wait, four? Hold up, do I need more? Alright boys, the time has come. It's time to declare on the Timurids. We can't wait any longer. We're gonna call in Transoxiana. And we're gonna declare. Alright, we're gonna need a couple of wars to knock these guys down to size. 412% of province war score cost. Dude, that's like five wars. This is gonna be uh, painful, to say the least. War's not going too bad, we're sort of winning. It's just annoying because they're so big, right? And Transoxiana is walking around doing whatever. Actually, they've been pretty helpful. Can't say the same about, well, I was gonna say another ally but I don't have another one. <laughs> Either way, I did peace out Hasa. I'm about to knock out Dawasir and Najd, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can 100% them in this first war. All right, well, 100% may be overstepping it a bit. <laughs> so yeah, let's take, well, the thing I had a claim on, and uh, let's maybe remove their coastline, something like that. We're gonna try and take as much as we can. Take their capital, Harat. Nah, I can't do that. I can take their fort over here and bam, which will be helpful. And uh, I think that's pretty much about it. I don't think I can take anything else. Yeah, that seems to be it. That's fine though. I'll take some ducats from them as well. And uh, I would say a solid first war versus the Timurids. They're allied too. Well, only Naj, so I can't bring down my truce with them. But hey, at least we beat them once, right boys? Victoria 2 simulator right here with these rebels, man, I swear. Let's finish off these guys so we can assimilate a culture. Let's call in Bachmanis. They'll do the heavy lifting. Meanwhile, I've headed up here to fight Ladakh once again so we can assimilate uh, some stuff. So yeah, let's send these guys over here and these guys over here. Dude, I got so many modifiers, we're at minus nine unrest. Rebels just pop out like it's plus nine. <laughs> you know, the Zab system is really nice for tier four, but come on, man, we don't need all of that, you know, uh, golf cap, right? We're not that big. What about this one? Uh, this one kind of sucks. Nobles of the Robe. Let's go with meritocratic classic. And both of these wars are done. Let's peace out Ladakh right here. Excellent. And let's peace out these guys too. Boom. And I think with that, we have assimilated the Hindustani culture group it is true minus 10 ccr wonderful we're now at minus 65 percent core cost reduction let's get this guy out of here <laughs> and it's time for our second war with the timurid let's see how big of a bite can we take out of them this time let's declare for this call on these two boys and uh yeah let's go i'm gonna go with diplo here for that province war score cost well, someone made the Timurids pop out some land back to Khorasan. Uh, how did this happen? I have no idea. And there we go. We've pretty much 99% at these guys. So uh, listen, will making them give back Khoras to Khorasan cost me Diplo points at well, but it is pretty cheap, you know. Or is it not that cheap? Hmm. 
well, at least this will make them weaker for the next war. Uh, I'll take this from them. Maybe this, this. Yeah, not a lot for me, but definitely a lot for Coruscant, huh? Nice. Okay, now the Timurids are super weak. I'm doing this too, so hopefully someone else like Hasa maybe or Hisen Kaifa declares on them and knocks them down to size a bit more. But yeah, now it's time to chill even more and wait for the next truce, unless I can declare on some of their allies, which I can't. Oh wait, actually I can. I, I can declare on Sir Hin right here. That'll uh, bring my truce down with them significantly. Oh, the Mughal artillery. Alright, truce with Sir Hind is up. Let's declare on them. The Timurids will obviously join. Wonderful. Unfortunately, I do have to fight Bengal and Yarkin, but it's whatever. And there we go. We'll just white piece the Timurids, which will bring our truce down all the way from 1560 to 1555. Perfect. Honestly, dude, this was the hardest where I've had to fight all game for some reason. Sir Hen man, who knew they would be so strong? Luckily, they won't pose a problem anymore. All right, choose with Timurids is up in one year, and then we'll fight them again. And our choose with the Timurids is up. Let's declare on them again for, I don't know, Fasa down here. Wait, no one will join? Why won't anyone join? They got truces. Why? Uh, I don't think I can do this alone. I mean, I can. It's just, uh, it's gonna be hard. I mean, what are you gonna do? When you gotta declare, you gotta declare. Am I right? Let's declare for Fasa right here. We're doing it ourselves, boys. We're doing it ourselves. Uh, let's go knock out Yarkand and Chagatai first, and then we'll come back for Timmy. Well, boys, this is what the war is looking like, man. I'm occupying them. They're occupying me. I'm walking straight into their lands. They're walking straight into mine. To be honest, this is super, super tedious with such massive countries fighting each other, and I literally can't be bothered to continue it. I literally don't care. In fact, I'm so powerful. That's why I chose to stop this war on purpose. But listen we are running into a bit of problems with manpower it is definitely a fact that we can completely wipe out the timurids but unfortunately i don't think we have any more time for that boys of course this could be a win and you know how when we played as antemoro the goal was to conquer the british Isles. we did fully occupy them right and that campaign was a bit of an inconclusive one well this time it might be the same situation our primary goal was starting as baluchistan to form the mughals and since we got that done early the secondary goal was to wipe out the Timurids. Primary goal accomplished boys. We start off as Baluchistan, a very very weak tribal nation. We beat up all of these guys over here and we did accomplish our goal of forming the Mughals. Then we started off doing our secondary goal which is to wipe out the Timurids and of course we are doing really well in that. We took over a bunch of provinces to, from them, gave a bunch of provinces to Khorasan as well and it can definitely be done if I'm just a little more patient and if I build up a couple of forts and armies. But unfortunately we've run out of time ladies and gentlemen so is this campaign as baluchistan a success well yes and actually no since our primary goal was accomplished and our secondary goal can be accomplished it's just that we don't have time for it so i'm gonna declare this campaign in a to z as baluchistan a 75 percent success so it's more of a success than not but it can also be a little failure since we practically run out of time and that has been baluchistan in a to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more EU4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.